Vitamin C is an amazing skincare ingredient. It can help brighten your complexion, increase collagen synthesis, boost healing, and protect your skin from UV damage. You should have a vitamin C product in your skincare routine, but vitamin C is notoriously hard to formulate with because it is very unstable when mixed with water, oxidizing away into ineffective orangey sadness in a matter of weeks. So today I am going to teach you how to make a super simple three ingredient vitamin C serum that defies that oxidizing orangey sadness. This formulation also doesn't need a preservative and you don't have to worry about pH. I have been working on and testing variations on this formulation for three years now, so I'm so excited to share this with you and I hope you love it. We'll be making a 30 gram batch today, which makes about 25 milliliters or just shy of one fluid ounce of product, which should be enough for two or three months of once a day use. As always, if you are looking for information about substitutions, shelf life, and where to buy ingredients, please read the completely free partner blog post. It's linked in the description box below. Let's dive in. Our first ingredient and our star ingredient is 6.9 grams of L-ascorbic acid, also known as vitamin C. This is a crystalline ingredient that looks a lot like sugar and table salt. Since this ingredient is not soluble in our base, you'll want to make the crystals as tiny as possible so the finished product is as smooth as possible. You can purchase an ultra-fine version of the powder, or you can powder it yourself. I went the DIY route by first running my vitamin C through my DIY-only coffee grinder, make sure you wear a dust mask for this part, and then further grinding it up with a mortar and pestle. The amount we're using today works out to 23% vitamin C in the overall formulation. That's a pretty high concentration of L-ascorbic acid and it can be tingly or irritating on the face. So if you are new to using ascorbic acid or if you have sensitive skin, I recommend dialing back the concentration to five to 10%, increasing the other two ingredients in the formulation to keep it in balance. I've included more information about how to do this in the Totally Free Partner blog post, which is always linked in the description box below my videos. Our second ingredient is 5.1 grams of isoamyl cocoate, which is a lightweight liquid ester. You could easily use a different ester as an alternative, isoamyl laurate, C12 to 15 alkyl benzoate, and cocoa caprolate would all be good options. You could also use a volatile silicone like cyclomethicone. This ingredient thins out the formulation a bit so it's easier to dispense and apply. Stir those first two ingredients together until the mixture is uniform. While we stir, I want to take a quick moment to thank my amazing patrons. Thank you so much for helping support free formulation education. I appreciate you guys, oodles. <laughs> Our last ingredient is 18 grams of silicone gel. This ingredient forms the bulk of the formulation, diluting the vitamin C and thickening the formulation so the L-ascorbic acid stays in suspension. It's ultra lightweight and slippy, meaning the final formulation glides across the skin beautifully and doesn't feel greasy. My silicone gel is from TKB Trading and it's primarily made from ultralight cyclopentasiloxane that's thickened into a gel with dimethicone slash vinyl dimethicone cross polymer. If you'd like to learn more about this ingredient, there's a full Humble Bee and Me DIY encyclopedia entry on it. You could definitely use a different gelled cyclomethicone ingredient. If yours is thicker, you may want to shift the ratio of silicone gel to liquid ester so your final product isn't a stiff paste. If you can't get a silicone gel, you'll need some sort of other lightweight, water-free gel to suspend and dilute the vitamin C in. It looks like the Ordinary's water-free vitamin C formulation uses Versagel MN750T or Versagel MN1600T, which are part of the same line of products as the popular Versagel gloss base, that's Versagel ME750, but the version used in that vitamin C formulation is much lighter and less tacky. Unfortunately, I've never seen it for sale to home crafters. Earlier in my formulation process, I did try a couple versions that used the Versagel lip gloss base to thicken the formulation, and I really wasn't a fan. It was heavy and sticky, and unsurprisingly felt a lot like I was just smearing lip gloss all over my face, so I don't recommend that approach. Stir the mixture until it's uniform, and that is it. Time to package it up. The easiest way to package this formulation is in a one ounce jar. I decided to make my life a bit more difficult and use some small two dram squeezy bottles from SKS. Filling these was a bit of a pain in the backside. It ended up working out with the syringe just fine. And I do love the dispensing of these little tubes, 
but yeah, it's definitely not as easy as putting this product in a jar. If you have one, I think a one ounce soft squeeze tube would be a great packaging choice as well. To use this formulation, mix a wee amount, perhaps half a pea sized, in your palm with a mild skincare product that contains some water. Start with less than you think you need, especially if you're new to using L-ascorbic acid in your skincare routine. The mixing product can be a lotion, a serum, a toner, or even just a splash of tap water. We just want to get the vitamin C to dissolve for a smoother application experience. This also makes it easier to use less, reducing the potential for irritation because you'll have plenty of product to spread around your face without feeling like you have to go back for more. I've been mixing this formulation with my Brighten and Boost serum lately, and that works wonderfully. I would not use an alpha hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, or retinol product to dissolve the vitamin C, just in the interest of keeping the irritation potential as low as possible. I typically do this as the first step after cleansing, and then I follow up with a lotion or an oil-based serum. I usually apply my vitamin C in the morning, saving other potentially irritating products like my lactic acid solution for evening use. Because there's no water in this formulation and all the base ingredients are very stable, this product should easily last a year or more. And that's how to make a super simple vitamin C suspension. Now you just need something to mix it with. I recommend my Brighten and Boost serum and you can learn how to make that all by yourself here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.